In 1989, I was making a World Service documentary about Adolf Hitler for the centenary of his birth. One of the people I spoke to was his former secretary, Taudel Junger, who was still working for him at the time of his death. I came to work for Hitler actually by chance. I was a 22-year-old girl and I wanted to go away from home. And as my sister was in Berlin working as a dancer, I was so longing to, get, to go to Berlin too that I took a chance to get a job in the Reichskanzlei, in the Reichschancellery, as a secretary, as a typist. And one day, Hitler was, he was in his headquarter in East Prussia. He needed a younger secretary because one of his secretaries had married. And ten girls were sent to his headquarter and Hitler chose me. And on the January the 1st of 1943, I was officially engaged, employed by him. To begin with, Traudel Junger only had to deal with Hitler's personal letters, fan mail from German citizens, and even love letters from obsessed women. She had to send out congratulations to mothers who'd just had their sixth child to tell them Hitler had become that baby's godfather. When I came, it was already 1943, The war was at its deepest point, actually, after Stalingrad. And the secretaries hadn't to do much work for Hitler anymore, but we got another duty. We were asked to have the meals with Hitler so he could relax in the conversation with girls who were not interested in politics and all those things. And he could have a very simple and actually trivial conversation to relax from his duties. What was he like as a man? The secretaries, at least, found him a very friendly, charming, polite and patient chief. He has even a sense of humor, and we never experienced any loud words or something unfriendly. And to me, as I was the youngest, he had actually more or less a fatherly behavior. I actually, I liked him, and I felt well in his company, and I enjoyed talking to him and listening to his more or less monologues. And Hitler's monologues, it seems, were something that Traudel Junge, like most Germans, agreed with. After all, to them he was a savior after the humiliation and defeat of the First World War and the economic collapse that had followed. Everybody was in a very bad economic situation, there was unemployment, there was hunger and um, inflation. And then Hitler came and offered that he would make Germany as a great nation again and he would give back our lost self-confidence. And I myself, I was educated that my home country was something I have to serve to and I was Vaterlandsliebe and I was... Uh, very proud of my country, actually. I was infected, actually, by the singing and the crying and shouting to, to greet him, and I felt it was something very touching. And after he came to power, he started immediately to put in practice what he promised, and he gave housing to the workers and employment to the unemployed, and um, there was food, and everything was in order, again.